up everybody? So today we're gonna be working on Luke's truck. Now I mentioned in the last video, we have to take a little bit of a break from the Civic just because I need uh, some parts for it so we can start jumping into the manual transmission stuff. But Luke's been helping out so much that I figured we'd go ahead, give him a chance and start installing some of the parts that he's been collecting. He's gotten quite a few parts. Um, the main thing that we need to do is lights. That's kind of like a first thing. Yes. We, when we drove it back from uh, Waterloo, it was like an hour or so drive. Couldn't see nothing, the lights on this were terrible. So we're gonna swap out all the lenses and everything on this just to make it better. Plus the amber and everything on there is just kind of old, outdated. You guys can see here, he ended up getting the clear lenses, which I think are gonna look a lot better than what the amber ones are, as well as the taillights. These are the red and clear. And then the headlights here, they're still glass and they have the uh, halo rings. So we're gonna have to wire those up. I'll go ahead and show you guys the taillights over here so you can see exactly what they look like. But yeah, that's them with the amber. So I think the clear is gonna look a lot better. We probably will end up respraying these uh, trim pieces black just to bring them back in a separate video. So stay tuned for that. And uh, what you got going on there, Luke? I don't know. Got a little, I don't know you're talking a little about. snowman. That happened on the way here. <laughs> I was gonna say, how was the drive getting it here? It had to have been it a little, little rough. Slippery. It was a little slippery. Yeah, it just snowed here recently and we didn't really plan on that, so. I don't know, it is what it is. It took him a little while to get here, but now he's here. So let's go ahead, jump into this and uh, take the grill and all the lights out. It shouldn't be too it's difficult. Pretty easy. I yeah. think it's mostly just screws. It is. You guys can see there's a couple screws there. I don't know how many's behind in the grill, but we'll go ahead and show you guys. All right, so we got the hood open now. So the first thing we're gonna do is go and take out these lenses because there's two screws here. So once those come out, then you'll be able to access the screws that are behind here to get the grill out. And we believe there is what, 13? Not including so, the lenses. Yeah, not including the lenses. So we'll go ahead and get those 13 that are on, on the grill as well as the four that are for the lenses. Get those out of the way and then we'll have access to the lights themselves. So I got these two screws out here. You guys can see the lens just comes out like that. Um, probably should have gotten new gaskets, but no big deal. Uh, Luke's over there. He's got his lens out now. I got a little bit of advantages because I have the gun, so it's gonna go a little quicker for me. So now that that's out, we gotta go ahead and disconnect this and then get the uh, screws out of the grill. So now we got the grill out, all that's left is there's four screws here, here, and here. And then this chrome piece will come out and then the whole bulb, or the whole lens, I guess, will come out. Um, it's still connected in the back by some wiring. But other than that, it should be pretty simple. So we'll go ahead and get those out next. So now we managed to get the front end completely disassembled. Everything is out here. So next up that we're going to do is go ahead and do these amber lights down here. We'll get these out. They're just held on by a couple um, Phillips screws. Once those come out, then we can go ahead and just take the lens off. Then we'll be able to go ahead and start swapping everything over and move on to the tail lights. Okay, so we got those out. Let's go ahead, move to the back here tail lights are just these four screws so those will pull out and then what do you say you think there's some more there's, screws behind it because this trim piece has got to come off separate well, next yeah there's three on the inside okay so let's pop those out next All right, so now you guys can see the light is out and there's actually four screws. There's one there, 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 and there. So once that comes out, then this whole black trim piece will come out and the lens will release as well. So let's try and get those out next. You guys have it it's all released now i guess luke's still working on his but uh you can see there it's all separate all right so we got all the lenses setting up here so here is the new tail lights next to the old ones you can see these are kind of like uh faded not very clear and these ones are nice and new 
headlights. Um, I think the output on these will be a little bit better just based on the way these look, but we'll we'll find out for sure. Um, what'd you say? You said this one was like OEM and this one's yeah, this aftermarket is OEM. already? This one's straight from Japan. Oh yeah, Japanese. But this one here is probably like a uh, AutoZone well, special like or something. Napa. Yeah, oh, Napa, yeah. okay. So we got that out and you can see here's the amber ones, which the amber ones actually don't look too bad. They're actually, uh, I think they're new. Yeah, they're so new. somebody already placed them once compared to the clear ones. So let's go ahead and just work from I guess we can do the taillights first, get that yep. done, and then start assembling all this stuff back up. Like I said, we're gonna have to wire these in. Shouldn't be too tough. Um, we'll probably have to put it in with the daytime lights. That way the ring is lit up at all times. It'll look cooler that way. So let's go ahead and taillights first. All right, so we got our lights here. We're we'll gonna put the trim piece on first, like that. And then take our lenses and set those in there like that. It just pops in. And it looks like we just put our screws back in on the back side to hold the trim piece in, as well as these lights. And then it's got the four screws that go here that will mount it into there. Okay, so now we got them all reassembled. We can go ahead and screw them back into their housings. All right, so we got the taillights on. They look way better than those amber things. I like the way these look being the clear. What do you think, dude? Yeah, they look yeah. All right, so next up, let's go ahead and get to the front end, start changing out that stuff. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do these uh, clear guys next and see how they look. So we got the lower clear lights in. They look pretty good. So next up is the actual headlights. All right, so next up, we're gonna go ahead and install these lights. I've got the wires and stuff untangled back here. One's positive, one's ground just for the halos. We'll wire those up after we get them actually set in the car and in place. Um, pretty easy, just put that bezel piece, this piece here, back around, and then it just screws back in. So we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so you guys can see now we got the light all hooked up. This uh, chrome piece doesn't really fit the best. It's just because it's not really designed for these headlights. And I don't know, do you think you want to keep those chrome? Might make them black. Maybe we'll make those black here in the future just to blend in. But for now, they'll work. Um, so next up, I suppose we can go ahead and do the wiring. Okay, so now the headlights and we're gonna come to the back side and you guys can see here, hopefully, there's the two wires that we need. They're black and red. Um, the red's gonna be for the power, black is for ground. So all we're gonna do is splice it into this connector here. This here is the uh, day, runner. day runners, which come over here. So I've got these little tools, or these little splicers here. Basically, you just stick the one end through here and the wire that you're connecting to goes through there. And then you just clamp it down, pretty easy. Um, these are okay, we may have to find a better solution here in the future, because uh, I've had issues with them in the past, but they do come loose. Probably just electrical tape and make sure it just holds up nicely, but it shouldn't be too bad. So let's go ahead and try to get this done and hopefully they work. I guess we'll make sure that all the lights work before we do yeah. this. Okay, so we went ahead, got the headlight all installed with the uh, wiring and everything. I tried showing you guys, it's a little bit difficult because it's, it's such a tight space. And uh, we ended up taking the headlight out just to make it a little bit easier to be able to uh, hook it up. Oh yeah, we gotta hook that coolant line back up because we had to make some room. But uh, let's go ahead and test it out now that we have it installed. Make sure it works. So go ahead and hit the switch, Luke. Switch. Holy crap, that's like super bright. I think it's brighter than the uh, main bulb. That looks cool. There's a main bulb. Yeah, that's way bright. Okay, so now we got that one done. We're gonna go ahead and do this one. We actually took this one apart or out so we can go ahead and get to the wiring a little bit easier. And uh, yeah, cause there's like, there's no space up in here. So. We'll go ahead, hook that one up, get them both working, and then we can go ahead and do our, what, 
running lights, yep. the clear ones over here, and then put the grill back on and we should be done. I can't wait to see what this thing looks like completely, all the way completed. Now we got the second headlight on. So they're both done. I guess next up is grill. We've already turned these lights on. I'm not gonna turn them on for you guys just yet. Wow. But they look sick. They look sick. I can't wait to see so it all completed. So spicy. They are very spicy. Oh man. <laughs> all right, let's go and throw the grill on. <laughs> Okay, so we have the entire front end complete now. We got our clear uh, day runners on. So everything is completed, completely done. So uh, Luke, go ahead and flip the switch. Oh yeah. Those look so sick. Spice. I dig the halos. So now we'll go ahead, we'll get kind of a uh, better shot for you guys. I think we'll go ahead and shut the lights off in here so you guys can get a full effect. All right, so now you guys just got to see the headlights on this truck are done. They look sick. I'm super happy with the way they turned out. The halos, they're cool. A little on the ricey side, but still cool. I'd rock them. I mean, you're obviously rocking Yeah, them. I like them. So yeah, I can't wait to see this thing like outside and actually driving around. It'll really stand out. It makes the truck a lot more modernized instead of being so old. Then you can actually see. Yeah, the headlights are a <laughs> lot brighter. Um, I still would like to make them a little bit brighter. I think we should upgrade to LEDs eventually. Yeah. And I think we should do it to all the lights, not just the headlights themselves. Um, It'd be nice to have these brighter, but the other thing that Luke and I were talking about is making these black. We have some leftover tint from when we did Brody Subaru, and uh, I think it'd look really good on there, especially once we refreshen up all this trim and exterior pieces. I mean, this stuff is so gray that I think yeah, if we did, if we did it black again, um, same thing with like these pieces here, the handles and whatnot. So we got a lot of stuff coming for this truck, so stay tuned. I know you've got a ton of stuff ordered. Not really sure Just what we're gonna do next, but uh, we'll let Luke decide on that. And uh, I guess we'll let you guys decide in the comments what you guys think of the headlights. Let us know and whether or not we do black out those uh, daylights. So let us know. But otherwise, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.